Hello, I'm Regina McCann-Hess, President of Forge Wealth Management, and welcome to our Women in Wealth series. Uh, today, we're going to talk about consolidating retirement plan assets. And you may find that you've accumulated a number of workplace retirement accounts over the years. Thanks to uh, favorable tax laws, your retirement plan assets could be as mobile as you are. And if you're like most people, you've probably worked for a number of different employers. And you may not always have taken your retirement plan assets with you to your new job. Therefore, you might have several workplace retirement accounts, even different types of accounts uh, if your previous employers were uh, like nonprofit organization that offered a 403B or a government organization that offered a 457 plan. Uh, now, consolidating uh, these assets into a single uh, IRA to simplify your life and help you take better control of your financial future is something that you may want to consider. Bringing your assets together. For anyone who has worked for a variety of employers, it may make sense to consolidate retirement assets, and it is pretty easy to do it. So let's consider a woman who has worked as a police officer after college. Then seven years later, decided to become a teacher. Then five years later, decided to pursue a career as a book editor uh, for a for-profit publishing firm. Uh, she might have retirement assets in a 457 plan um, from working as a police officer, money in a 403B plan from her time off as a uh, teacher, and investments in a 401k plan from her current employer, the publishing firm. Now, she might consider consolidating those assets. She can transfer the money in her 457 and 403b plans into a rollover IRA or into her current 401k uh, employer's 401k plan if the plan permits it. Keep in mind that each retirement plan may have its own rules concerning employees' access to money and the acceptance of assets from previous employers' retirement accounts. In some cases, it may be disadvantageous from a tax perspective to commingle assets for different types of plans, uh, like the 403Bs and the 457s and, and the 401Ks. Um, so that's more decisions to make. How you choose to handle your retirement assets could have a lasting impact on the size of your nest egg and ultimately on the type of retirement you can enjoy. Because this decision is so critical, most people seek out professional advice when they're leaving a job. Your financial advisor and your accountant can help you assess your options so you make the best choice for you. When you leave an employer, you generally have uh, four options for handling the money in your retirement plan. First option is you'll leave it in your former employer's plan. If your vested plan balance is less than 5,000, this option is available only if the plan allows it. If you're between ages 55 and 59 and a half when you leave your job, distributions from this plan will not be subject to the early distribution penalty, while distributions from other plans generally will be. So you want to consider talking to your tax advisor before taking any distributions. Uh, option number two is transfer it to your new employer's plan. Each plan has its own rules for what assets it will accept and what access you will have uh, to your rolled uh, over assets. You may subject your assets to possible tax penalties that would have applied if the money had been uh, left in your previous employer's plans. Uh, you do have to be careful about how you do move money, so this is uh, important to note. Um, number three is take the money out of the plan. Depending on the plan's options, you may be able to take installments, an annuity, or a lump sum. The downside of this option is that, one, you'll pay taxes, and you may incur a 10% penalty tax, depending on when and how you take your money. Now, this may put your future retirement needs at risk, so this is really uh, a tough uh, option to choose uh, as a result of that. Um, now, number four is roll over the money into an IRA. Money from a 401k, 403b, profit sharing, money, uh, money purchase plan, or other qualified plans can be invested in a rollover IRA. Both employer plans and rollover IRAs may involve fees and investment-related expense. Uh, 
Now, in some cases, an employer may pay for the plan's uh, administrative expenses and provide additional levels of service when compared to an IRA. For assistance in determining which option is appropriate for you, you want to consult your financial advisor or your accountant or investment professional to have that discussion. A, a choice that you have would be a direct rollover. Similar to leaving assets in a plan is a non-taxable event. When you transfer the money into a rollover IRA or keep it where it is, you avoid the current tax consequences and possible penalties you would incur if you were to take a cash withdrawal. Another choice, tax benefits are preserved. In a retirement plan, the taxes on your potential earnings are deferred until you take withdrawals. Earnings generally can compound faster when taxes are postponed. When you transfer your retirement money to a rollover IRA or keep it where it is, taxes on your earnings will continue to be deferred until you begin making withdrawals from your account. Another uh, choice, you may gain access to more investment options. Um, retirement plans typically offer a much narrow range of investment options than those you can choose from within an IRA. Another choice, your investment plan for retirement remains in place, which also occurs when leaving it where it currently is. Cashing out a lump sum distribution can be tempting. It may be the largest sum of money you have ever been able to get your hands on. But when you use that sum, whatever mean, remains after tax for a current expense, you could be putting your retirement at risk that amount could potentially grow to a substantial sum that could give you extra income in retirement. Another choice is one of the benefits of retirement accounts is creditor protection. The level of protection will be based on account type and in some cases, state law. A qualified plan such as a 401k is protected by a federal law called ERISA. Uh, this protects your 401k from almost all claims by creditors, bankruptcy court and court judgments. Now, the IRS and divorce proceedings are two exceptions to that rule. An IRA has similar protections if you declare bankruptcy, but does not have the same federal protection from creditors or court judgments. Uh, just a special note, the amount of money in your IRA that is protected in bankruptcy is limited to $1,512,350 until March 31st, 2025 plus any amount rolled over from a qualified plan. Now your state may offer additional protection from uh, or to your IRAs. A non-spouse beneficiary who inherits an IRA does not get the same level of creditor protection as the original owner in most cases. The level of protection, if any, varies under state law. So there's plenty of resources to guide you. When changing jobs or retiring, you're likely to be re, uh, preoccupied with plenty of concerns. In the midst of these major transitions, uh, you'll wanna make uh, a major decision about how to handle your retirement plan assets. So staying informed and turning to the support of financial advisors or investment professionals uh, could help ensure that you make the best decision for yourself your family, and your future. Let's talk about the portability of retirement plan assets. Now, money can be transferred between most types of plans, like we said, the 457, the 403B, and the 401k plans. 457 plan investments can be transferred to a, ro a rollover IRA. Certain employer-related plans, 403Bs, 457s, and 401ks, can accept transfers from rollover IRAs. Governmental 457 plans are not subject to early distribution penalties. So if you're under the age of 59 and a half, talk to your investment professional, financial or tax advisor before rolling your 457 plan assets into an IRA. A few important facts to remember. In most cases, you get access to your plan assets only when you retire, change jobs or are laid off. Each plan has its own rules that govern uh, current and former employees' access to the plan assets. A Roth 401k and after-tax contributions to a 401k may be rolled into a Roth IRA without paying additional taxes. Also, non-deductible contributions you make to an IRA cannot be rolled over to a retirement plan. 
If you're rolling money over to an IRA, be sure to ask your former employer to make sure the check is payable to the institution at which you're establishing the IRA. If it's made payable to you, your retirement plan distribution will be subject to a 20% withholding. Ouch. <laughs> when you open the rollover IRA, you must invest the full amount of your distribution and come up with the missing 20% yourself. So even if you complete the rollover within the required 60 days to avoid income and uh, penalty taxes, you will not be credited with the amount withheld until you have filed your tax return. Couple of key points. Wondering what to do with your retirement assets uh, when you change jobs or retire. If you have multiple accounts at multiple firms, consider consolidating your retirement assets into one rollover IRA to simplify your life. Here are some major potential advantages a consolidated approach offers. Preservation of tax benefits, uh, potentially more investment options, an opportunity to allocate, diversify, and rebalance in one portfolio, and of course, a consolidated statement. Our call to action today is look at your 401k plans, your 457s, your 403bs, all of your retirement plans. Are they scattered around or are they all with one firm? But definitely know where they are, look at them, consider should you roll them to your current 401k? Should you roll them to a rollover IRA? But at least acknowledge that you've uh, taken a look at them and reconsider where they are uh, as opposed to um, you know having 20 different plans in 20 different locations. So just make your life a little bit easier. And with that, I want to thank you for joining me. Again, I'm Regina McCann Hess, uh, President of Forge Wealth Management. Our website is forgewealth.com. You can find me on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Forge Wealth. And on LinkedIn, I'm Regina McCann Hess. Go make it a great day.